captain right now. Earn that, baby. Teachers! I know the guy in the middle. It's my friend. Good to see you guys, and welcome to the show. Today, I have three students who are ready to say that these three teachers are not as smart as them. They're from the Mass Community Charter School in Northeast Philadelphia, and they just entered my classroom to show the test students and now their favorite all-time teachers. Mast, I said, bring your pep rally. They rocked it! What's up, baby? They got a, some sort of mascot out there that's ready to storm the stage. It's $500 in bragging rights on the line today. We're jumping into a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay, okay. Hands on buzzers, questions are in my hand, and the time is on the clock. Pop quiz starts right now. In what city was the old house covered in vines in the book Madeline? Hmm. Here we go, Miss Moreno. Paris. Paris is right. In science, kinetic and potential are the two basic forms of what? Here we go, Miss Andrick. Energy. Energy is right. What 3D puzzle toy created by a professor in Hungary features six different colors and gained popularity in the 1980s? Miss Andrick. The Rubik's Cube. Yeah, buzzing in super early there. She knew it. What is the name of the Egyptian pharaoh whose tomb was discovered in 1922, mostly untouched? Miss Andrick. King Tut. King Tut is right. Wow, the way you say it, too, makes me feel like I don't have the right answer. <laughs> what is the name of the bird in the Disney Pixar movie Up? Michael gets it in. Blue. Not correct. Teachers? Otherwise, we move on. Here we go. The answer, Kevin! In math, the abbreviation LCM stands for what? Here we go, Miss Andrew. The least common multiple. There you go. Nicely done. Extra credit question, students. Let's get you on the board right here and 20 points in your pocket. Ed Sheeran teamed up with what singer on the 2019 hit song, I Don't Care? Josh. Justin Bieber. Jay Beams is right. 20 points, 30 <laughs> down. Good one. The Mormon Trail, the route, tr the, the route thousands of Mormons used to cross the plains and the Rockies in wagons, ended in which present-day state? Miss Andrew. Utah. Utah is right. In what Roald Dahl book does the main character befriend a life-size centipede, grasshopper, and earthworm? Miss Moreno. James and the Giant Peach. Good. That's a great book. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Teachers, 70 points on the board. Students, like, what just happened? I was bummed. Hey, you guys are off to a start. You got 20 points in the bank, which is huge. You break the ice there. You got a little extra credit, which is awesome. And you get a chance at $500 in your pocket. If you win it, where's it going to go? Um, a Hershey trip. Nice. You just headed down to the theme park? Yep. Do the, uh, does the school know you're going, or are you guys mm -hmm. skipping that day? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're going to totally play this by ear and see how it goes. Teachers, if you guys win it, where's that going to go? Um, it's going to our winter giving tree, which gives gifts to kids in need. Oh, man, great place to put it, guys. Both sides. Absolutely love it. What happens if you skip school? You get a detention. What happens if you go to the second round? You're getting a detention. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Points is on the line. Students, you guys are trailing. So we're going to give you the first category. Best of luck to you, and let's play detention. Science. Category science. Do you love that? Do you hate it? We have social studies, a lit teacher, a math teacher. They're not science teachers. They're not science. Pass, pass, pass. 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 And I heard they don't have a science teacher. Let's get them. Good luck, guys. What is the specific process where plants absorb water through the roots and then give off water vapor through pores in their leaves? Photosynthesis. Hmm? Deep in thought, students, I kind of like this strategy. 
Here we go. And the answer? Photosynthesis. How about that? Transpiration was the right answer. Students, I love that. Josh Thomas, Michael, great pass. <laughs> and now, you get to send one of your teachers to detention. Who's it going to be? Miss Andrick. <laughs> Miss Andrick. If you pick anybody else, I was canceling the show. Simple as that. So how about this category? Sports. Yeah. We'll we'll play. Play. You're going to play this one? Good luck. In the NBA, the Thunder represent what city? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is right, okay. You guys are like, man, why didn't we get that one? Who's gonna go? Josh. Josh, our eighth grader. Fun to know he's a football fan. Loves the birds. He can stay. Big Eagles guy. I like that. Got a lot in common there, Josh. All right, you stay there, man. Students, we go back to you, Thomas, Michael. You guys are so chatty. I'll tell you what, before the school started, you guys are always chatting, but can you get it done right here? Let's find out. Celebrities, do you love them or do you hate them? Pass. We're going to pass. Right. Here we go. Australian actors and brothers Chris, Luke, and Liam share what last name? Hemsworth. Hemsworth is right. You can't give a question about Hemsworth to anyone who loves just punks. I'm talking to good looking guys. That's going to get one of your students into detention. So who's that going to be? Thomas or Michael? Uh, Michael. Michael leaving Thomas all by his lonesome. All right. You stay there. You don't have a question to answer. They do. Here you go. Category, television. Do you watch it? Mm -hmm. We'll go television. Yeah. We'll play. What Disney show tells the story of a girl who becomes the new kid in town after her family moves from Transylvania to Pennsylvania to open a bed and breakfast? Who told Transylvania? They're deep in thought right now. Need an answer, guys? Uh, okay, couldn't get it done. <laughs> that um, could have gone on another 30 <laughs> seconds. Vampirina is the right answer. And Marina, one of you, Mr. Politsky or Mrs. Moreno, is going to detention. Thomas, who's that going to be? Mrs. Moreno. Mrs. Moreno leaving our social studies teacher, Mr. Politsky. There we go. How about it? This is it, man. It comes down to you. Category is popular slogans. Uh, I'll play. He's going to play. He passed a few, but right now he's playing. In the U.S., what chocolate wafer candy bar by Hershey wants you to have a break? Kit Kat. Kit Kat's oh. right. You said Mr. Politsky detention. Say go to detention. You guys come out because we got celebration to do. Mr. Blitzky, you go to detention. He tried to say no. Yes, on my show, I'm calling the shots. Look, these three just got serious points. You guys are up to 60 for the game. Ten points behind the teachers. And when we're coming back, who's the best artist? They're going to be drawing. We'll see you right after the break. I think they're out of gas. Here, you take them. You're much better at this. Welcome back. Friends, look at these things that are rocking on the show today. It's Mass Community Charter School in Northeast Philadelphia. Uh, what do you meet the teams? Hi, my name is Joshua Spivy. I'm in the eighth grade, and what else do you need to know? Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm in eighth grade, and just give me the money because we already won. My name's Michael. I'm in eighth grade, and I live in Northeast Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Becky Moreno. I teach eighth grade literature. I graduated from Mass, so I think that guarantees us an upper hand today. Hi, I'm Mr. Politsky. I'm an 8th grade social studies teacher. I'm a guitarist and impressionist, and I can't feel my legs right now. Hi, my name's Sarah Lynn Andrick. I teach 8th grade math, and I usually help my students solve problems, but today, I'm their biggest problem. Our teams are queued up and ready to rock. This game continues. We head to the creativity of art class.
works like this. Each team selected one player to draw on this board. The trailing team is going to go first. Students down by 10 points right now. They're going to select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. You're going to have five seconds to draw. Your teammates will have 10 seconds to guess that correct. The correct answer is going to be worth 30 points in round one. If you guess it incorrectly, I'll give you a few more chances, but the points decrease with each round. So every time you got to draw again, you lose a little bit of points. Now, here we go. My man, Josh, are you going blue or red? Okay, he's going red. You stand behind here, which is weird because your team's blue, so you're like red. You look at the word there. He's going to look at it. Yep, it's like a present on Christmas. Just go ahead, rip her open. 30-minute show here. <laughs> Tried to get 60, but... Okay, you ready? Okay. <laughs> the face he just made it says everything to me right now. Grab a pen and uncap it. You have five seconds and five seconds only. Time starts right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. All right, stop. Here we go. You guys got 10 seconds. You ready? Good luck, fellas. What are we looking at? Bread, uh, potato, and potato. Wow. Uh, Deep in thought, Thomas, Michael, your answer? Potato. Is it? <laughs> a potato, not a potato. We go back this way. It's not a potato, okay? Grab the marker. You got five more seconds. Do whatever you need to do to keep adding to that drawing. Here we go. Second round, go. <laughs> Unbelievable what he's doing right now. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> I love what you did. Ten seconds on the clock. Noodles. And do they try for spaghetti? So you got this, this is it. You got ten seconds. Good luck, guys. And the answer? Spaghetti. Spaghetti strike! Potato to spaghetti. You go sit over there. That's 20 points for the students. Getting you guys to the 10-point lead. We welcome in our teacher, Mr. Politsky, and I give you right here the blue card. You can look at that one real quick. Eye that up. Mrs. Moreno, Mrs. Andrick, how well are you guys at guessing pictures? We're about to find out. Yes, we are. You got five seconds on the clock. Here we go. Time starts right now. Mr. Politsky going hard in the paint here, as we like to say. And done. Here we go. Ladies, good luck. What are we looking at? Chicken cross. What? Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, you're, you don't seem thrilled with your, your drawing, but I think it's pretty good. Need an answer, guys? Need an answer, ladies? Go for it. Traffic. Not traffic. We move on to 20-point round here. You can, you can draw whatever you need to do. Your time starts right now. Okay, he's adding on to the original. And we go, ladies! How do you do now? No help from the audience. Others oh, dying to answer this one, though. And time is up. Need an answer? Um, crosswalk? Incorrect. We move on. Last round to tie the game up. You have 10 seconds to finish it up. Good luck. You can do whatever you need to do. Okay, he's adding on to it here. We move on as we roll through. Okay. All right, Mr. Politsky, you did a good job. I commend you, my <laughs> friend. Teachers. Five seconds. Here we go. Okay. Deep in thought. And this for any points. Pedestrian. It was not pedestrian. Oh. The answer, Mr. Politsky, give it to him. Sidewalk. 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 Look at this. He's got it. He's got the whole thing. That was tough. Now, before we go to break, I got more points on the line. Who wants some extra credit? <laughs> Question on the board. Both teams have one minute, and if you are at home, now's your chance to play along. Here you go. Here's your question, everybody. If a child has 20 apples and gives eight to his mom and two to his grandma, how many will he have left? When we come back, the answer. And the game continues, and students look to say I'm smarter than my teacher. We'll see you after the break. to the classroom today it's mass community charter school in northeast philadelphia the score is 70 teachers 80 students here was the extra credit question that i asked before break child's got 20 apples he gives eight to his mom because he loves her he gives another two to his grandmom how many does he have left josh you said 
10 apples. 10 apples is right, gets you up there. And Mrs. Moreno, you said? 10 apples. 10 apples, extra credit, both sides. Pitch your days next. <laughs> Picture day is upon us, and we start right now. Here's how we're gonna play. Grab your buzzers. We're gonna show you all a famous picture of a. For, excuse me, a famous picture of a. Oh, I'm gonna get this right. This one. I'm gonna show you a picture. It's gonna have a person, place, or thing on it. There we go. That we covered with boxes. I'm gonna give you three clues, guys, one at a time. With each clue, we're gonna move three of those boxes. First person to buzz in correctly identify that picture is gonna get ten points for your team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal. Here we go. Three pictures. Let's play. Picture one, this person won the 2017 Teen Choice Award for Choice Breakout TV Star. Tough, tough, tough on that one. Not allowed in the picture. Here we go. She's best friends with one of her co-stars and dates another. Scandalous. Mrs. Andrick. Lily Reinhardt. Is that Lily Reinhardt? That's Lily Reinhardt. There you go. It's a tie game, 90 points a piece, and we move to picture two. Let's cover the picture. Here's your clue. This person's birth name is Michael Ray Stevenson. Nobody on this one. I'm going to give you the next one here. Hot Taste and Made Me are all songs on this rapper's 2019 album, Legendary. Last clue, three more boxes. This should do it. He once dated Kylie Jenner and has a son with Black China. Josh. Tyga. Is that Tyga? That's Tyga. There he is. Looking good over there. I think I have that same vest. And here we go, our final picture, guys. Students 100, teachers 90. Picture three. This person appears in many movies. Buzzer stays silent. Here we go. Clue two, three boxes. Off that picture, please. This fictional character wears a mask. Last clue, three more boxes. This will definitely do it. He terrorizes people in the Halloween movie franchise. Mrs. Moreno. Michael Myers. Is that double M? Michael Myers, it is. Tie game, teachers 100, students 100, and it's all locked up for the final exam. Topic. It's mirror, mirror. That means I'm gonna ask three questions all related to mirror, mirror. Each correct answer, 100 points. You'll answer that during the commercial break. First, here are your questions. Let's go. What is it called when light hits a shiny and smooth surface, such as a mirror, and bounces back? What's that called? Question two, mirror, mirror. In what book series are members of the abnegation faction discouraged from looking at mirrors to admire themselves? Finally, question three, final exam. In Descendants, the magic mirror is reduced to a simple hand mirror, which was given to what character as a tool to locate fairy godmother's wand? 60 seconds on the clock, and it starts as soon as we hit the commercial break. I have three students who are tied up right now with their teachers and going into the final exam to say that I am smarter than my teacher. Who's going to win this thing? Teachers, students, we're going to find out right after this break. Hey, this show's been awesome. I want your school to have just as much fun. Here's how they're part of the show. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Because this game is ending on an awesome note. 100 points for the teachers, 100 points for our students. Mass Community Charter School is going head to head. Here's the final exam topic it's mirror, mirror. Three questions on the board, 100 points each. Good luck, everybody. This is going to solve this problem for $500. What is it called when light hits a shiny and smooth surface, such as a mirror, and bounces back? Teachers, we're going to start with you. Mr. Hendrick, you said refraction. Incorrect. Reflection is what we're looking for. Mm. Reflection passes through. Excuse me. Reflection bounces off. Refraction passes through. Michael, you said? 
Reflection. Reflection, and that's going to get you those points. Get your points. Yeah. In what book series are members of the Abnegation Faction discouraged from looking into mirrors to admire themselves? Teachers, back to you. You said. Divergent? Divergence, right? Tied game. Here we go. Thomas, you said. I don't know. No answers. Teachers tie the game after the second question, and it comes down to this question. Here we go. In Descendants, the magic mirror is reduced to a simple hand mirror, which was given to what character as a tool to locate fairy godmother's wand? Mrs. Moreno. Evie. Right, and puts the pressure on the students. Joshua, you get this right, or the game is over. You said. Evie. Oh. He ties the game on the last question. We have a tie. That means we have to go to a tiebreaker. Grab your buzzers, guys. You're going to need them here. I will ask another question about our final exam topic. The first person to buzz in and get it correct will win this game. If you buzz in and you get it wrong, the other team's going to have a chance to steal these points. Good luck. Here we go. In the Cave of Mirrors episode of what TV show does Ash travel into the mirror dimension? Mrs. Andrick. Pokemon? Pokemon's right. Teachers win the game. teachers today but what a game here on the classroom we want to thank you guys for being here and we'll see you next time with a brand new school and all this money and the students chance to say i'm smarter than my teacher